joins us live with more from the launch pad. Hi, Kev. Hey, yeah, so there is so much history to be learned. There are so many amazing aircrafts to check out. I mean, and this is all just before they actually hit the sky. So we're here with Patrick Corona. You're stationed at a Travis Air Force Base, but you're here today. What is this behind us here? Yes, good morning. Uh, so this is a KC-10 extender. Uh, we, our primary mission is air-to-air -air refueling. So a variety of uh, Air Force aircraft out here today on the ramp, and with the exception of a few, all of them are receiver capable, which means in air they are able to onload gas to either uh, extend their time in the air or to extend the range that they need to fly to get to their destination. So that's our main job is to make sure uh, the cargo or the strike can get to where it needs to be. And uh, we, we have the ability to carry cargo and passengers as well. Uh, but yeah, air to air refueling. So we have the pilots up front, the boom operator in the back, and uh, we're basically a, a gas station in the sky. I was just going to say, you said that you're a flying gas station, which I think is such a cool way to describe it. So you guys actually let people inside the aircraft. Now, we're going to get inside here shortly, later this hour, um, but you said that your line's usually pretty long, right? So, I mean, it's a long day for you, long weekend for you guys, rather. Yes, it is, uh, but it's a it's an awesome opportunity to showcase uh, our capabilities and, and the awesome stuff we get to do. Yeah. Uh, like I said, doing air to air refueling, we get to interact with fighters, bombers, other cargo guys, other tanker guys. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just really fun to interact with our brethren and interact with the, with the civilian population population and the civilian aviators as well. Yeah. Uh, there's so much history and, and awesome activities and awesome aircraft out here. Uh, it's a really fun weekend. It's a long weekend for us yeah. for sure, but uh, we're really proud of what we do and yeah. we we're really love the opportunity to share it with the community. Fantastic. So you're going to be sticking around with me later this hour. We're going to hop inside the aircraft here. Now, fun fact about Patrick, he's from and grew up in Fairfield, Connecticut. You are now stationed in Fairfield, California. How about that, right? That's pretty awesome. Co <laughs> coast to coast. Yeah, coast to coast, right? Exactly. All right, so stay tuned because again, later this hour, we're actually going to go inside. So that's all coming up. Kevin, I want to know which Fairfield he prefers, the Connecticut or the California? <laughs> That is a great question. Okay, so our anchor, Camby, wants to know, what Fairfield do you prefer, the Fairfield in Connecticut oh, or the one in California? Oh, man, that's <laughs> tough. Uh, I mean, that's my home, so yeah. I'm going to have to go with the East Coast, okay. but the weather bar none. I mean, I was just about to say. Sunshine, I, I'm hesitant to move yeah. back there and yeah. go to the snow. Exactly, yeah, yeah. You get all the seasons out here. So there you have it, Camby. I love it. Good question. Thank you.